Ladies and gentlemen, that was the giant gong of Kyoto that you just heard out of the mystic lore of the Orient. When it rings, things of utmost importance are about to happen, as they do in the story I'm about to tell you, the story of the barbarian and the geisha. John Huston, who directed such tremendous successes as African Queen, Moulin Rouge, and heaven knows Mr. Allison, brought this fantastic adventure to the screen. The fabulous story of Townsend Harris, first white man to open up the Orient, and of the beautiful geisha who was sent to love him and kill him, played by the exotic Japanese discovery A. Kondo. Just as this white barbarian from the West, as they called him, was the first man to raise the American flag on Japanese soil, so will his story for the first time bring you the mystery and color and exotic splendors of the Orient that no other medium could open up to you. Strange affairs behind closed doors of the Geisha House. The Shogun's palace, lavish beyond words. The gigantic Ronin, roving assassin. Weird ceremonies and superstitions barred from the view for centuries. The samurai with his vow of vengeance. But it was not only Harris's story. It was also Okichi's, the geisha who had sworn to destroy him and who stayed to find the softest, strangest of loves. I'm not leaving because I want to, Okichi. America, so far away. Not so far away that I'll forget you. Every time I see a woman with ornaments in her hair, I'll think of Okichi with the yellow combs. Every time I hear the rustle of silk, I'll think of a little... 